Uh, hi, my name is John Waite, and I first accepted Jesus into my heart at a Sunday school Christmas concert as a kid. I was about 11 years old. Uh, back then I had no idea what it meant to be a follower of Jesus, but growing up in a violent and abusive home, uh, the sound of a God who loves me unconditionally and has a plan for my life sounded really good. Throughout my youth, uh, life kind of always seemed pretty difficult. Uh, by the time I got to the ninth grade, uh, I found myself homeless, uh, living in slides and things like that, still going to school, uh, bouncing around on friends' couches and things like that. And even though I still believed in God, I was way too angry and resentful to actually follow him carried on that way for a while with all that anger and resentment, but uh, God never abandoned me. And I see that now, looking back, that he always put lifeboats and lighthouses, as I call them, in, into my life, like uh, the Sador family, who are now my parents, um, and the Godette family, and, and people like that really helped guide me uh, through finishing high school, going to college, um, getting trained as a firefighter, joining the Air Force, um, where I eventually met Lisa, uh, my wife. From there, we decided to leave the military um, and move out here to the coast where she's from and pursue our careers in Vancouver. Um, but our marriage uh, really struggled when we moved out here. We had a real lack of community. Um, we were really isolated and we, we moved around a lot. We bounced around to a couple different churches, but nothing felt like home. and. It, uh, it really took a toll on us, that lack of belonging. Um, and then in 2019, we decided we would move out to the valley and buy a home. And, you know, we had, we had just had our second child and living in a one bedroom apartment downtown wasn't quite cutting it anymore. And the first Sunday living out here, we were still unpacking and the kids were getting a little restless. So we had Cassie Elementary right behind our house. We decided we'd go to the park and while we were playing at the park with the kids, I could hear who I now know as Rodell slamming away on the drums and Christina singing and I noticed that it was worship music and I thought, oh, they, they must have a church service in the elementary school. So we wandered around to the front of the school and here's this energetic guy with the fedora on, the feather hanging out the top, which was Vaughn with guest services and he kind of came up and, hey, how's it going? Big handshake and a hug and took my stroller and started going into the front door and he's like yeah the strollers park right over here and this is where your kids will do Sunday school and he kind of took the kids off to Sunday school and I guess I'm going to church today and so we uh, I ended up in the gymnasium and and met a bunch of people and it was small group launch day and uh, I ended up in the hams small group and then from there like that's when the whole journey back to God began and the hams um, I'm still in their small group today and, and so is Lisa and we've met tons of great families and friends through there. Like we met um, the Castellans, the Patros, the Gibors, the Lee and Jaira and since getting involved with Centre Church and the small groups and, and that community, my life has changed dramatically on a couple of different levels like when it comes to myself as, as a father, more patience, more like loving and kind with the kids and seeing myself more as the leader of my house whereas before I, I kind of think I shied away from that because I didn't think I was fit to be a leader um, whereas now and especially with the coaching from guys like Christian Ham, um, just knowing that whether I want to be or not I am the leader of my home and I need to be intentional with that responsibility. Um, and then other ways, just closer with my wife and in our marriage, not feeling isolated anymore, having that community and that richness, that fullness in our lives is, has been really rewarding. If you're the kind of person like I was where you believe in God, but you're not pursuing Him, you're not following Him, you don't feel you know, part of the team, part of the family, the group, which is how I felt for a long time, um, my biggest advice would be to don't let the doubt and the fear and the anxiety of being judged and feeling as like an outsider, don't let that stop you from investing in the community and the relationships that are going to come from jumping into things like small groups and 
meeting people and sharing your experience with them and letting other people share their experience with you. It's, it's a huge, huge part of feeling connected to the people around you. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been really awesome. And that's led me to today, um, sharing my story and declaring that I'm no longer angry and resentful with God and I'm excited um, for a life and a relationship with Him and to declare that He is my Lord and Savior and I'm gonna follow Him from this day forward.